Hey guys, and welcome to this week's studio vlog. So this week I want to design a whole bunch of new products. I feel like I haven't really designed anything or made anything in quite a while. I feel like after I've been busy rebranding Polygon, it would be nice to sit down and kind of refresh the products I've got out there and create something new, especially since I have Comic Con coming up at the end of May and Hyper Japan in July. I feel like some of my products, the stock levels are a little bit low so I'd like to restock them by creating some new things and it definitely would be nice to have some new products to draw more people in to my stand at Comic Con and Hyper Japan. I want to design a new sticker pack. I also want to design a little standee on a spring. I want to make it look like a rocking horse as I think that'd be really cute and fun. I also want to do a sticker book. I've actually had a quite a few people ask me if my notebooks are sticker books at conventions. That's definitely something people are looking for at the moment so I think it'd be a good thing to add. I've also ordered some enamel pins of some old designs. So I did a Jungle Skog pin and hopefully that will be with me very, very soon. Um, I didn't really record myself, but you can have a quick speed draw here if you wanna see what it looks like. I also want to design a charm bracelet, which will be a little bit different to my old charm bracelets. These ones will be metal with acrylic bits dangling off them, which I think are gonna be really, really fun to design. So I'm looking forward to them. And I think that might be it. I think I'm gonna start with designing some new sticker packs. And I want these to be Sanrio themed. So it's gonna be a bit of fan art, but I'm gonna put my own little cute twist on them. I'm very happy with how these stickers came out. So I'm gonna get them printed off and I'll put them into silhouette as well to organize them and get them all laid out nicely. And then once I do that, I have to design the backing card, which I'm very excited about because I really want to make it nice and fun and cute and different and really fit the clown theme I'm going for. I'm very happy with how this little sticker set is coming along. I think it looks very, very cute. I set my silhouette machine to cut all my stickers out and then I'll put them into the pack. I have already designed the backing card, which you just saw, which I'm very, very happy about. I think that looks really cute too. I also need to print them off and cut them out. Um, and then I can put them all together. While I'm doing this, I think I'm also gonna start thinking about how many stickers I need to make for Comic-Con. I'm gonna go through what I need to restock, um, and just try and get things over and done with in big sections so I'm not like returning to printing my stickers in a month's time. Um, I'll just try and get everything done as much as I can today. There's probably a few bits and pieces that I'll need to replace. So there's a whole bit of, there is a little bit of complexity to it, but I just wanna get the, the most of it done um, so I can just fill the gaps in when and if I need to.
Mark, turn around what the brains do. Independent and your credit score beautiful. You find as hell, baby girl, I'm so proud of you. So now I've finished dealing with the stickers, I want to design a new product, which is going to be a standee on a spring. This is kind of what it's going to look like. This is what I'm going for. So I'm gonna get my iPad out and start drawing out my ideas. I think for this, I want to use some of my characters that I've already got. So I might use either Fred Frog or Simon Sloth, but I'll start working out when I actually sit down and get to drawing it. In the end, I decided to draw Jungle Skog, or the new baby Jungle Skog that IKEA have recently released. Jungle Skog has been one of my most popular products recently, so I thought it'd be fun to do one of the little mini baby one. Plus, it kind of just looks like a cute bear um, riding on a duck on a spring, if you didn't know who he was. As I finish designing my little standee on a spring, I want to get on to designing the rest of my products so I can get everything ordered and sorted. So today I am going to be designing the charms for the acrylic bracelet I want to get made. So I'm going to be doing three charms, a hedgehog, a frog and a mushroom, which I think will be really fun and hopefully they'll come out really well. I already sell bracelets in person at events and markets, they're not available on my website, but they do do pretty well so I hope this one will do well too and it's a little bit different and a little bit more fun and has my actual artwork on it because my current bracelets are just um, chains I've put together with some charms I've designed but the charms are very plain and simple so this will be a little bit fun and something quite different and then I will also be designing my sticker book so the sticker book I'm actually going to be taking an illustration I've already done and I'm just going to put text over the top of it which says sticker book or my sticker book or something like that I'm not going to create any new art for it so I've, I've had quite a few people ask me if I do sticker books so I think it'll be a good thing for me to do especially since I already offer notebooks so um, let's get started with that I think I'm going to get on to drawing the charms first and then on to the notebook I think this is the illustration I'm going to use for the sticker book. I'm going to add some text over the top of it, but this is basically what I'm going to go for. It's this little cow holding a lollipop with like a starry, sparkly background and a pink grid. I think that illustration will work well. I've not used it on any of my other products, so it's kind of a bit of an experiment. So I'm not going to get many sticker books made, um, but hopefully people like it. So I actually ended up designing multiple sticker book covers, the one with the cow and then one with a bunch of my characters together and then finally one with just strawberry skunk. In the end I decided to go for the one with just strawberry the skunk on. I just thought that was a really cute design and I really liked how it looked. So it's a lot different to what I originally planned but I am happy with the overall design and how it all worked out and I'm very excited to see how these turn out in person when they arrive. So I'm gonna place an order for all those products, but now I'm actually gonna design the backing cards. So because I changed all my branding, I need some new backing cards ordered, some like generic plain ones with my new branding and my new logo on, but I'm also ordering this pin and I wanna design a backing card for it. So my idea is to design a backing card that looks just like the IKEA bags. So let's get started with that. Even the dark, they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still mm, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have fell from the sky And I Today I want to restock my mystery bags and my mystery boxes. So my mystery boxes are these little boxes here. Uh, we have my fruit bat pins and then my frosted friends key rings. These were super popular at the last Comic Con so I want to make sure I have enough stock with me because we did sell out of these. So hopefully this time I'll be able to take a good amount of them and they won't sell out. And I'll probably be doing like 20 or 30 of these so I've got a lot that needs to be done and then after that I want to put together my mystery bags so I've done my mystery bags before they're a really good deal because you get a lot of different products in them and they're a lot cheaper than they originally would have been priced for so they're definitely worth getting um, but you don't know what's inside them but they seem to be pretty popular at Comic Con so I want to do them again
Try to sleep with the TV on, but it was the one that I couldn't Sam and I won't get together again, but they part in the end. I hate that ending. I think that I get what you mean. I still can't see. Been I let my cow be left in. It's my luck that you're still wide awake. And I know without a word that you're probably on your way. You came in with your head held down, and I could see the worry on your chin like a face mask. I think it's strange how you don't talk back like you ended the discussion in your head with a comeback. If it's easier to stay in my place, we can move to the sofa and remember how the dance goes. We refuse to let the night die quiet in the morning. So So because I have changed my branding, I'm going to have to redo the stickers on the front of my mystery bags because they're in my old branding. I don't think this is going to take me very long to do, but I do have three different price points for my mystery bags. I have £5, £12.50 and £25, so I'm going to have to do three new designs. I have done them in Canva, so hopefully it'll be pretty easy for me just to go in there and switch the colours up. So I am going to go and do that now. But before I go and do that, I just want to talk a little bit more about my washi tapes. So at the moment I have five rolls of washi tapes left over sitting on my shelf and five ready to go to my next market. So the five on my shelf will be going in the mystery bags and the other five I'm going to keep for markets and conventions and once they're gone, they're gone. I am stopping with washi tapes, they just haven't been as popular as they used to be. I think it's possibly that the, there was a bit of a fad and that's died down or maybe people have just got lots of different types of washi tape and they've got too much so they don't need any more at the moment. But yeah, unfortunately I will be not I won't be selling them anymore. Maybe I'll bring them back at some point if I think they are more popular, but at the moment, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop selling them. I think I want to restock a few other bits and pieces. I've got some fruit bat magnets that need restocking, so I'm gonna get them printed and cut out. And I've also got some A5 Mew Mew Pal prints that need packaging up and printing off too, so we're gonna do that now. I could tell you I don't think you believe how this way.
quite late in the day because I've been busy doing other bits and pieces but I want to try and get some badges restocked so I make the badges myself in my studio and I need to get some more ready and made up for Comic Con so yeah let's get that done now hoping to try and get some sublimation printing done. Um, I managed to get my mug designs printed out. However, my printer has now stopped working. I have so many problems with this printer and I think it is well on its way out. So I'm thinking of maybe just doing other things for now and coming back to the mugs and the other stuff in a few days time whenever my printer decides to start working properly or when I finally get around to ordering a new one I'm replacing it. This printer is about four years old so it's probably time to replace it anyway. I don't really want to um, because you know that's money I have to spend but I, I think I'm gonna have to which is a really which is really really annoying but just one of those things. Today I think I'm gonna package up some prints. There's some prints that I haven't that I need to restock and get ready for Comic Con. Um, there's some new stickers I want to get made that I probably should have made earlier, but I didn't get around to doing that So we'll get that sorted now anyway um, and then Yeah, I kind of just figure out Different bits and pieces I can do lots of little things I can there's probably that I can restock and just do throughout the day um, and then I'll probably end this vlog here and get up onto YouTube um, and then just find stuff to do. That's cool. I did what I was supposed to. There's nothing left for me to do. So now I'm walking out my head to open windows. Cause that's what I feel like. Do it tonight. Waking up my brain. Maybe you can do the same thing. Want me to say something? So 
So I'm going to get these two illustrations made into some stickers. I'm going to open up um, Silhouette Studio and I'm going to get them all laid out and cut out using my Silhouette machine which is just down there behind me. So let's go and get on to that. this video now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you did enjoy it if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new here don't forget to hit that notification bell and the subscribe button so you'll be the first to be notified for when i next upload so over the next few weeks i am going to be getting ready for comic con i have been accepted again into the creative pavilion so i will be doing that and hopefully i'll vlog some bits and pieces while i am there i have a market coming up this weekend so i am going to try and and vlog a little bit of that as well as it's been a while since I've vlogged a small market so I think it'll be fun to kind of just take you around and show you what it's like at uh, these kind of things. It is at Waterside Shopping Centre in Lincoln. By the time you're watching this video it will have already happened but I will hopefully return there in the future. Hopefully it will go okay but you'll have to stay tuned for that video. If you enjoy this video please let me know down below in the comments what you liked and what you'd like to see from me in the future. Thank you for watching again uh, and I guess I will see you next time. Bye!